go over um, exactly how to do round one, which we'll be doing in class today and tomorrow of our duck hunt slope style unit four project. OK, so first things first, I'm going to share my screen. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what it is I'm looking at as we do it. OK, so here's what we are looking at as we go through the duck hunt slope style. So I put that video there that we watched in class to kind of give you the background of the zapper and kind of a little bit of background of the history of the game duck hunt. Um, but that first thing we're doing in that packet Let's dive into that. So first things first, if you want to play Duck Hunt, it's here for you. Feel free to. I'm going to pull it up right now because I'm going to need it for my um, examples I'm going to be doing for you. So that's nice and easy. So here we go. Hopefully it's not too loud. There, we'll turn it down just to be safe. OK. So I'm going to skip over this and we're just going to dive in exactly how to do the first part of the tutorial. So in the first part of it, we are looking at um, playing around a duck hunt and recording some stuff. So basically what we're going to do is how to play the game, how to graph your graph, and then how to do the first three problems that the worksheet that accompanying it. OK, so in this case, let's switch up to student view so you can see exactly what I'm looking at and I'm going to pop over to my duck hunt and get ready to play. So here you hit spacebar and the first duck appears on the screen. Now on my Nearpod, I have a or on that screen the site that third page the graph on your thing we have a graph made kind of looks like this so yours is a little bit cleaner looking because I had to make mine on my computer that looks like this. So what I'm going to do is use my duck hunt screen to get a bunch of coordinates. So first things first, here's my duck over here. Got it. So there that would be if I did my came back here, that was probably shot like right about here, which on my thing would be negative 11 7. So I'm going to. Using the draw function make a mark where my duck was. Here it was at negative 11, so 11 to the left and seven units up. And that was my first duck. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to the game. Now my duck's over here on my screen. And so it was way over here, like at the top here. So we will say that one was at, so we're gonna come here. This is duck two. And his coordinate was seven to the right, 13 units up, give or take. Again, it doesn't have to be exact. I don't want fractions. I just want you to be as close as possible. So when I go back to my duck hunt, there's my duck. He, he's way over here. He's not going to turn, so I'm going to drop him up here. So that one on this chart would be all the way over here at the top of the screen. So we'll call this one. This is my third one, and that was at 913. OK, and I just go back. There's my next duck. Ooh, almost flew that one away. That was right in the middle of my screen at about, oh, uh, we'll say nine. So this would be my fourth duck, and this would be at, in this case, it'd be zero units for the X and nine units up. OK, so now I have me some um coordinates i can use so on the back so when you read the project it says very specifically for that first part of it it says that in this section we're going to be finding the slope of your line uh, that it travels from the hunter to where it hit the duck using the graph you're going to track your first round that's what we just did we tracked four points you need to graph 10 points of this Okay, then it says number and show each calculation on the back of this paper. So when you flip your graph back over, you have a full sheet of paper there where you are showing your graphing. Or I mean, not your graphing, you're sloping. Okay, so we had like my first point was like negative 13 or negative 11, 7. So what you're going to do is you're going to write your first dot coordinate. You're going to put your coordinates in negative 11 7 okay now my first coordinate that's going to be where my hunter was and in class i said place your hunter at the origin which means he is at 
zero, zero, okay? So now I have my two coordinates, which works really well about that is since I have my two coordinates, it means that I'm able to use my slope strategies to find the slope of that line. So I can either use the equation that's given, which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, which in this case would be my y2 is 7 minus 0 over my negative 11, which is my x2 over my x1, which is 0. So my slope is going to be 7 over negative 11 for that, okay? And that's what I would write in the first box of my round one paperwork, okay? If you don't like to do the slope equation, totally fine. Make your XY chart, guys, and do the same thing with your XY chart. My first coordinate was 0, 0. That's where the hunter was standing. My first duck was at negative 11, 7. When I look at my XY chart, how do I get from 0 to 7? Well, I'm going to add 7. How do I get from 0 to 11? I'm going to minus 11. My slope is always my change in my Y, which is that plus 7 over the change in my x, which is my negative 11. Works out exactly the same, and you got it. So you're gonna do that for all 10 ducks that you hit, and record it, and draw, and show me how you calculate the slope for every single one, okay? When you are done with that, you can move on to round two. However, before you move on to round two, we do have some worksheets, so let's do a quick walkthrough of the first three problems for you. That way we're off to a good start. So here it just says find the slope between the two points. So you can either use your y2 minus your y1 over the x2 minus your x1, which in this case would be negative 15, negative 15 minus negative 16. Okay, a negative 15 minus a negative is like adding, so that's going to end up as a positive 1 over, whoops, that's the wrong one, over my negative 7 minus a positive 19, which is going to be a negative 26. Okay, and that's how I would get that one. Okay, now. If I don't want to solve it that way, that's fine. I can make my XY chart too, which in this case, I'm just going to put my first coordinate, which was 19, negative 16, like that. And my second coordinate was negative 7, negative 15, negative 7, negative 15. So to get from negative 16 to negative 15, I need to add one. And to get from 19 to negative 7, I minus 26. So my change in my y or my rise over my change in x is equal to positive 1 over a minus 26. Okay, so that would be your first one. Let's look at the second problem on your worksheet. Exact same thing. We're just finding the slope between two points. So we can do our m equals, this would be negative 7 minus negative 10, which is equal to three because a negative minus is just like adding all over be a negative two minus a positive one negative two minus one equals negative three so this would be three over negative three or you can simplify it to negative one if i did my x y chart i'm going to do the same thing i'm going to take my first coordinate which was negative one, or it was positive one, negative 10. And I'm gonna put it over my second coordinate, which is negative two, negative seven. So get from negative 10 to negative seven, I need to add three. To get from one to negative two, I'm gonna minus three, which gets me three over negative three, which is also negative one, okay? And last but not least, we're going to take a look at that third problem on your practice worksheet. Okay, here if we did the slope formula, we're looking at our y2, which is negative 4, minus our y1, which is 7. So negative 4 minus, whoa, I'm going to fix my minus there, minus 7 over 
my x my x2 is negative 6 minus my x1 which is negative 4 so it'd be negative 6 minus negative 4 and all that together negative 4 minus 7 is a negative 11 and negative 6 minus a negative 4 is just like negative 6 plus 4 so that'd be a negative 2 which is either negative 11 over negative 2 or you could switch it to positives 11 over 2 because two neg are negative divided by negative is positive. Either way, however you want to do it is fine. Or you could always use your x, y chart, which my first coordinate was negative 4, 7. My second coordinate was negative 6, negative 4. To get from 7 to negative 4, I need to minus 11. To get from negative 4 to negative 6, I need to minus 2. So my y, change in my y over the change in x equals negative 11 over negative 2, or you can just make it positive 11 over 2. Okay, and that's how we get going with the beginning of our project, guys. So that's what we're doing in round one. So you're going to have this class period to get your duck hunting done, to get everything else done that you need to get done, and just get after that worksheet. You should be able to hopefully finish that round one today in class so you have plenty of time to finish the project. Thank you, and uh, best of luck to you guys.